Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. The Gmail inbox overview is today's video. You're going to learn to navigate and become super familiar, know everything you need to know about the Gmail inbox. This one is the computer edition. Okay, here's the overview of the Gmail inbox. Um, right here, Compose, that's where you're going to create a new email. The inbox is just your general inbox. Everything that comes into your inbox is going to be located here. Now your inbox is split up into three inboxes, so to speak. It's split up into primary. These are your actual emails. Social, this is just like news from all your social networks that get emailed to you. Facebook, um, Google, all these different social media outlets you belong to, any emails that come from them get put in the social folder, and then promotions, okay? These are sometimes paid ads or they're a lot of spam, things people are trying to sell you. Um, starred, this just means it's something you marked as important or they marked as important, so it kind of catches your attention. Snoozed, snoozed is anything... You can mark a snooze. I'll show you that real quick. You can mark something as snooze. Hopefully I can remember how to mark it. So that you don't delete. Like let's say you get an email that's important. that has a task you need to complete. But you don't want to do it right then and there. Because it's a distraction. But you also don't want to forget about it. So you don't want to delete it necessarily. Well snoozed allows you to snooze it. And it comes back up. Just like snoozing an alarm clock. It will come back up and remind you. How to uh, how to do it? That's where you do it, right here. This little clock. You click snooze, and you can tell it when you want it to remind you again. Okay, so it's kind of handy uh, with things like that. Important. Again, this kind of can work like a snooze. You can mark something as important if it's something that you need to uh, need to pay attention to later. Like if you click this little flag, I don't want to call this, that'll mark it as important. You also, I believe, can mark things as important when you're sending them to people. When you're emailing people, you can mark them as important so they kind of stand out in that person's inbox. Okay, sent, this is where you can see anything you've sent. This is handy because sometimes you need to go retrieve an email that you sent somebody or like let's say you sent someone an email and you need to double check that it was said right or you need to resend that same email because they didn't get it. Well, if you go to sent, you can find those emails and resend them, which is really handy from time to time. Um, drafts, this is where you can start composing an email and maybe you don't finish it. That's going to show up here in drafts, okay? So I'll show you an example. If I uh, type an email, okay? I can then send this or... I can schedule it to send, or I can let it save as a draft, okay? And I think I have to X this right here. Okay, so if I close an email without having saved it, it will automatically put it in the drafts folder. So that's what you've got here. Um, all right, categories. Again, that's social. We already talked about what that is. That's that folder in the inbox. It comes from your social media networks. Updates. These are things that people have marked as updates. Forums. These are like discussions you have going on. And then promotions. This is where they're trying to sell you stuff. It's a lot of spam. Okay, then down here you have my labels. I have always called these folders. But Gmail calls them labels. This is just where you can keep things organized. You can create up your own labels, a.k.a. folders. And put emails in there that you don't want to get rid of. Maybe you need to save all your emails from your boss at work. You can put them in there. Maybe you need to save all your emails from a teacher at school. You can create a folder for that class and save all those emails in there. That's what that's what the labels are, okay? You may hear me refer to them as folders, but Gmail calls them labels. And you can see I've got a lot of labels that I need to go through and organize better. If you follow all my Gmail tutorials, I'll show you how to organize these better and create hierarchies and stuff like that. Chats, these are group chats you can have going with different people you know. Scheduled, this just shows if you have any scheduled emails. Maybe you want an email to go out at a certain time. That's going to show up here. All mail, that's just going to show you all your inbox, everything. 
spam. This is anything that Gmail thinks is spam, they'll throw in here, or things that you have marked as spam. You said, hey, anytime this person emails me, put that as spam. That's where it shows up here. Trash is gonna show all of your deleted items. This is handy, it saves them in here for 30 days. And it's really handy because sometimes you delete something and then realize you need that back. Well, you can come find it here in the trash folder. All right, another folder. Um, this is where you would manage your labels, create new labels or delete labels or put them into a hierarchy. So maybe you make one label for school and then you have one label for each class. This is for gymnastics. This is for physics. This is for whatever. You, you could do that in there or you can create a new label right here. Right here under meet, you've got a new meeting. That's where you can create a new meeting for, um, it's like Zoom. Google Meet is like Zoom. This is where you would create a new one. This is where you would join a meeting, okay? Right there. You can send the invite to people to start the meeting, join a meeting. And then there's Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts used to be mo much more like Zoom and, and Meet, and then they changed it. And Google Hang Hangouts now is just group chats. So you can come down to Hangouts and you create a group chat with uh, anybody in your contacts, or you can add people to that, okay? That's pretty much it. That's the overview of your um, Gmail or Google inbox. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else you should know. We're gonna, we're, I'm gonna go into detail how you use all this stuff in uh, later on in this video or in future videos. One other thing you might like is this settings button right here. You can customize the look and feel of your inbox right here under settings. So we'll go into that in more de depth later on. But that is your Gmail inbox, okay? Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.